Have you ever climbed a hill? Perhaps it's a healthy form of exercise. When traveling to San Francisco, I like to climb a famous hill with a serpentine curved roadway called Lombard Street. It's a form of exercise and a discipline that I happily embrace when traveling. Lent also asks us to go beyond the ordinary way we live our lives, to do the extraordinary. It will lead us by the hand to the way which is the Word of God, so that we can be totally conscious of the faith we profess. Lent centers us around the person of Christ, his message and the mystery of his death and resurrection. As we begin our Lenten journey, the ashes we receive on our foreheads remind us of the shortness of everything material, including our own lives. The ceremony of the ashes is also a call to conversion, to repent for the materialism and disorientation in which we live too frequently, to turn 180 degrees and toward a positive direction. The ashes are just a beginning, a sacramental that celebrates what should be for us admission that we need to affect changes in ourselves, our routine, and our lifestyle. Now beyond the ashes, the Lenten exercise of conversion is through our extra prayer, our penitence, and our charity. These are favorable ways that we can gain the strength in following Jesus. The Lenten season should motivate us to live before God, to overcome our own super superficiality, to focus on reaching what is truly important, our destiny. Receiving the ashes is an important symbolic action, but pales in comparison with a life well lived during these 40 days or the years of our life going forward with Jesus as our model.